I'm so excited. Here we go again. We're gonna start standing. So we're gonna go into a hip flexor stretch. So foot back behind you, up onto your toe. Try to straighten out that leg, tuck that tailbone under as you reach up and then give it a little stretch over to the side and you should feel big stretch right there. And then step the other side, back onto that big toe, squeeze and tuck that tailbone underneath you, reach up to the ceiling, just bend this like just ever so slightly. It doesn't need to be a big bend, especially if you're straightening in the back leg. We think we have more hip uh, extension than we really do and we're always like this, that's really low back. <laughs> so try to think of lifting out of that hip and reaching over, okay? Maybe one more on the other side, <laughs> squeeze and reach again. You can repeat this as much as you need to. I'm gonna come down to a little bit of a wide squat and then straighten. If you need to, just be here and try to straighten. We're just kind of opening into the hamstrings just for a second before we start moving, okay? Getting right into it. So we have ladder hops. So I'm gonna use this line as my ladder and I'm gonna come here and then switch feet, switch, and I'm moving toward the side. And switch, here, and switch, okay? Now going back, here, switch, here, switch, okay? Now go fast. <laughs> so really trying to go as fast as possible. Switch, 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 and back. Woo! And if you can, get a little bit of rotation. It's okay to do. Our body moves in rotation. We walk in rotation. So opposite arm, opposite leg, kind of getting a little twist through that body as you switch, okay? Totally okay to get a little bit of rotation there. Okay, now we're going to lateral bear cross. So we're gonna crawl three times to one side. So I'm gonna come up onto my toes, pressing from my fingertips, hovering the knees an inch, only an inch. And I'm gonna take my arms across to three, and then I'm gonna do a little mini push-up, going nose toward the floor, and then coming right back up. One, two, three, trying not to rotate in that chest a lot, nose to the floor, and back up. One, two, three, nose to the floor, dive over your fingertips, and back up. I'll show you from the other side next round. Three, hover those knees. If you need to, come down toward those knees and you can always do a little push-up that way, okay? Now, one of my favorites, a lot of people don't like this. That's hard, not gonna lie. So we're doing lunge squat, lunge jumps, okay? So I'm gonna go into a lunge and then I'm gonna squat, I'm gonna open my knees and then I'm gonna lunge. I'm gonna squat, open my knees and lunge, okay? Now, watch it from this side. My hips are always leading the way. Just like I talked about before, hips lead the way as I come back, and then I jump open to a squat, and then I jump to a lunge. Jump and jump. Now, if that's not happening, you're lunging, and you're just going as fast as you can, okay? If jumps are just not happening for you right now. There's another modification that I'll show you on the next round as well. Okay, now going into Bulgarian switches. So this is where we're gonna use the chair that I have here, okay? And we're gonna get bottom to the back again. So you're not standing too far away. My knee is bent. Now my hips go back, almost like my bottom is gonna reach toward that chair and then come back up. Switch legs. My bottom is gonna reach toward that chair and I press with my heel and grip in the floor as I come back up. Back, grip in the foot and squeeze. Sit back, grip that floor and squeeze, okay? So now I'm getting single leg stability and balance. At the same time, I'm working my foot, I'm working my glutes, I'm still working my quad, core, pelvic floor, all things get to work <laughs> with this guy, okay? Then I'll move my chair back just a little bit, okay? Woo! So we have all of that two more rounds, okay? So really getting heart rate up on this one. It's really about some rotation. <laughs> And, and you can go as far down as you want. You find any line on the floor. And again, for this one, not letting your ankles fall out to the side. So it's not here, and you're not twisting in your legs any. They're staying straight forward. The only twist that's happening would be through the spine, okay? And from the arms, moving opposite of the foot. So as we're moving forward, 
in this plane of motion, we're actually moving sideways in this motion, okay? So it's a really cool trick for the body because even though we walk and run this way, we're working our stabilizers on the side as we move down and back this way. So really important that we want to get those frontal plane, meaning this way, moving and, and working within our body, okay? Uh, lateral bear crawls. Okay, so I'm going to show you from here. So, tucking those toes, hovering the knees, the rib cage comes to meet the pelvis, okay? So, nice and tight here. Not letting it rock too much, just taking a step, two, three, hover the knees, keep the knees hovering. Now, lean over those fingertips, press into the fingertips, nose can even touch. That would be the highest progression. If you need to, it's just a little bend and press, okay? Or, knees drop down to the floor, bend, and push. Okay, what this is really getting is really good into triceps here as we use, and, and core, because we're doing our bear crawls, but then triceps as we bend over the hands and press from there, okay? So really cool way to do that. Lunge, squat, lunge, jumps again. So if you're not feeling quite comfortable with the jump, but you don't want to just step it out, smaller bends in the jumps then. So keep that heart rate up. So it could be, again, as big as you want it, or, or quick, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, and you're just doing this, okay? So this could be where you go if you feel like my knees cannot take the bend. That's okay. So get the heart rate going by just moving the feet like that, okay? Or you go a little bit deeper, but maybe it's not too deep. See how my knees are barely bending, but I'm still taking a bit more time in each space. Okay, so that's another modification that you can take. So many modifications, that's why it's great for every kind of level that you can imagine. Okay, going into our Bulgarian switches. So foot planted, foot on the back, hips to the back, down and squeeze. Okay, down, squeeze. Good, squeeze. Back, squeeze. Back, whew. squeeze. Good, keep it going. Breathing it out just like this. Whew. Back and squeeze. Back and squeeze. Back, squeeze. Back, squeeze. Back and squeeze, okay? Last round, guys, this is exciting. Okay, so make this your best round yet. Really focus on what your body's doing and keep it moving. Last round, it's only three rounds, it goes by so fast. Okay, so quick, quick, quick. How quick can you make it? Okay, so this gets to be as much agility as you want it to be, or as you can make it be, okay? It's up to you how you want to work in your body, okay? It's harder that way because the hands and the legs have to go opposite. What you don't want to do is you won't want to do same, okay? Because then that's teaching our body how to twist like this rather than twist the way it's supposed to, which is through that upper body, a little bit through those hips, okay? Teaching your body how to move about that transverse plane is so important, and it's how we run, it's how we walk, it's how we do a lot of things, so <laughs> we need that happening. Whew, okay, going right into our lateral bear crawls with that push-up, okay? So tucking those toes. Again, try to keep the knees only hovered about an inch. Three steps, and then bend, and come on up. Three, two, one, bend, and come up. Three, keep pushing into your fingertips too. That's the other thing that people forget, and their wrists start to hurt because they're dropping into their wrists too much, rather than pressing into the fingers and pressing from the shoulder blades. So really press from the shoulder blades too, in order to get up and off the ground more, okay? So you're not dropping into those hands Ooh, maybe the push-up's too much. Maybe you're just going back and forth with the lateral bear crawl. Either one is okay. My goal for you is to just keep moving. So you got it. Okay, my favorite, lunge, squat, lunge jumps. These are a doozy, but so good for the body. Okay, back, bend. So the other thing with squats is that do it in front of a mirror. So important, so helpful to visualize what's happening. When I come from that lunge and I go into that squat, I don't want my knees to go on the inside of my toes, okay? And I don't want to start in a good squat and then come up this way. 
That will happen a lot. Adductors take over and our knees come together. So what you want to try to do in order to keep working right around those outer glutes, we'll do other adductor things later, but right now, even this is getting more adductor. But here, getting those knees wide, pushing them out as you, so pretend like you have something around your knees, and you're trying to push it out the whole time that you're doing those squats, okay? Really important there, guys. Woo, here we go. Bulgarian switches, okay? Sitting back, pressing through that body, sitting back, Whew. okay? Keep it going, squeeze all the way at the top, and switch legs, back, and squeeze, back, squeeze, back, and squeeze. Okay, again, it can be smaller if you need it to be smaller. It could just be here, and squeeze. Just practice getting that bottom back. Maybe it almost looks more like a deadlift, that's okay. Practice getting those hips to bend first, and squeeze and stabilize in the foot. Okay, so important there. Woo, we finished. Okay, actually, whoops, I'm gonna keep this chair here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing with the chair. So I'm gonna fold in the mat here. Uh, you could take towels, pillows, whatever you need to, that makes it a little bit more comfortable, and you can use something to stabilize. So I'm gonna put my knee on here, and my foot out, okay? So now, when I'm in this quad stretch, I wanna try to think of tucking my tailbone under and breathing. Now, I'm gonna hang on to the couch here, but you can hang on to something in front of you, okay? So it's just tucking that tailbone under. The more that you tuck, the more of a stretch you feel. You don't have to go all the way back, guys. It's not about that. It's really just about tucking that tailbone under because your hip, your quad attaches all the way up to this hip bone. So the more that we can pull this hip bone up toward your rib cage, the more of a stretch you get. If you're stretching like this and you're like, well, I can put my knee, my bottom all the way back. You're not really stretching into it the way that we need you to. So breathing, again, calming breath. It's the most important thing that you can do. Normally I would hold this for a little bit longer, but we are gonna switch it over. Okay, switching it over. And the reason I fold up the mat is, or tell you to put pillows or anything is because I want you to be comfortable. I don't want you to be uncomfortable here. Okay, so uh, stretching, especially passive stretching, is about finding what it is to be able to get into a little bit uncomfortable position and rest in the comfort of it, okay? So it's not about being like wincing or being completely in pain. Maybe your knee is really far out and you can't even get your bottom back very far. That's okay. Or maybe you need a smaller surface to put your foot because your quads are so tight. Also okay, stack some pillows up and just put your foot on some pillows. It doesn't have to look like mine. It doesn't have to look like anyone else's. It gets to look like what your body needs. And that's all this is. This is learning about our body. This is learning what our body needs. This is learning what could be restricted. Could I maybe need to do this more than just rolling out my quads? That could be something, okay? Because really stretching into it and being active is going to be more effective than just rolling it out, okay? Do both. Now I'm going to unfold it just a little bit, and I'm going to scoot back so that I'm going to get my hands. I'm going to walk them out all the way into my elbows. I'm gonna try to tuck my head and try to reach back, okay? Now again, I'm just breathing, relaxing in my chest, releasing. <sighs> and just trying to get my hands to come back toward my shoulder blades. So this is a really good tricep stretch, especially after we did the tricep push-ups with the lateral bear crawls. So just breathing, you can do this on a wall. I like to do it on something like this and I, and I can feel like, whoa, my right side is a lot more restricted than my left. So it's just, it's just something good to observe. Like, do you feel a different side to side? Do you feel your body working in different ways? And, and that's okay, that's a beautiful thing to start to see and observe with yourself, okay? And then we're gonna take it back a little bit. I'm gonna reach my hands out. Actually, let's sit on our bum here. So I'm gonna reach, now I'm gonna try to take my hand and lift, and then reach. Press down into that couch a little bit, take that thumb up toward the ceiling, and now lift it up, and then switch. Again, right hand, press that pinky down, and now lift that thumb, and switch. And left hand down, press it in, and then lift, 
and switch. And if you need to, you can be up here. That's okay. I'm just getting more of a stretch into your lats. So when you sit on your bottom, you stretch your lats a little bit further and it makes it much harder, but it's really good shoulder mobility, if, especially if you're missing that flexion. But if you have some shoulder pain, sit up for me and just start it here, okay? Trying to keep that arm straight so we're not trying to bend it. <laughs> Press down and then lift. Press down and then lift. And just do that as many times as it feels great for you. Okay, guys, we did it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like and comment below to let me know what you think and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future.